Thanks for joining us on ESC TV. My name is Dixon Smith, MRO Sales Manager at Electric Supply and Equipment. Kent Planky with Ashby Company is here representing Panduit. He's going to show us a couple tools today. Uh, first, we're going to look at the traditional uh, crimping tool, the CT720, and then we're going to get to the battery powered Blackfin CT2600. After seeing this video, we hope that you'll be able to understand the features and benefits of both crimpers. First, let's look at the CT720. Kent, thanks for being here today. Tell us what kind of customers this tool would be good for. And thank you, Dixon, for, uh, for having me. Appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, um, to talk about uh, uh, these two tools as well as the, uh, the Panduit offering in, uh, in crimp tools. Uh, what you've got there is the, uh, as you said, the CT720. It is a manual die type crimper uh, that's gonna go from a number eight up to a 500 MCM um, code cable. Okay. And really is good for, uh, for all customers. Uh, anybody from an electrical contractor uh, to a, uh, um, an OEM and as well as an MRO uh, uh, maintenance. Uh, so it does, it does really you know, vertically play into, uh, into all markets. It is a die type, as we mentioned. You've got a fixed jaw here, which is gonna stay in place um, on the lower half. And then uh, up top, you've got the, uh, um, your interchangeable die on the top side. Are they pretty easy to change the dies out? Yeah, that? actually, uh, they, they are pretty pretty easy. You've just got mm -hmm. a set screw here. It's a captive set screw. Okay. So what you do, it's knurled, so it gives you um, a pretty good grip on it. Just back that out so it's uh, kind of loose. Take out your die and you know put in your uh, whichever size you're, you're ending up switching to. And then you just slide it back in once you get your correct die and uh, tighten down that set screw. So okay. Pretty simple, pretty... Uh, um, short amount of time to, to change those out. Yeah. You want to show us how to do a crimp with it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. We've got it set up right now to do a uh, uh, 250 uh, MCM. So if you want to go ahead and place that in there. And place it at the, uh, there you go. And actually, let's rotate the uh, rotate at 90 degrees. Let's do it right there. Right. So I'll kind of give it snug. Looks good. And then just go ahead and move it forward for that second uh, that second crimp. It's probably a little easier to put it down on the bench get some leverage for your second crimp. All right, very nice. So that's the CT720. Now let's move on to some more exciting power tools. Ken, tell us how this tool crimp and how many crimps could we expect out of one charge on this? The CT2600 uh, is a battery operated hydraulic uh, four ton crimping tool and you're going to get about uh, 400 crimps out of a uh, uh, out of a battery charge uh, and that's crimp cycles so keep in mind uh, that if a lug takes three crimps you know you divide your 400 by you know by three is the number of lugs you know that you're going to be able to crimp and the charge time on a battery is about uh, 24 minutes so it's got a pretty quick recharge on the uh, it's a lithium ion uh, battery let's show how the dyes are changed out okay so it's got a uh, um, a latch here, kind of a, a C uh, type shape, so it's got a knurled little thing there, easy to grab with your finger to open up the jaws if you're trying to get uh, the dies out or if you're trying to get the cable in there. Um, and the dies just have a pin, which is going to operate uh, going into just a, uh, uh, in the holder, so you just simply pull those out. The dies are going to be color coded. Put them back in, you simply take that, uh, that pin you know, center it down to the, uh, to the hole, close the latch on your crimp and you're ready to go. And this one, um, I like operating it basically as a, as a bench top, you know, just placing it there. So it kind of makes it a hands, you know, hands free from that standpoint. And then you can just con concentrate on the, uh, on the crimp. Okay. Let's do a crimp. Okay. So here we'll go ahead and place the, uh, run that up and let it cycle back down. So we'll go ahead and place the lug in there. What I like to do is just kind of get some tension on it so I can get my hands away, you know, from the, uh, from the jaws and go ahead and place the cable in there. And then just make sure you push it all the way so it's uh, all the way to the... Squeeze the trigger. 
until it releases and you've got your crimp cycle, then uh, slide it forward and your second crimp. All right. That's on there pretty good. Yeah, with a four ton crimp, um, you know, that's going to give you a, uh, a UL, um, you know, CS, CSA approved uh, crimp with a four tons, uh, four tons of pressure. Okay. So this is considered a controlled cycle crimp. Yes. Um, you know uh, exactly how much pressure. Yep. Great point. Uh, what it's going to do is, is give you the exact amount and it's only going to go and it'll go until it meets that uh, right amount of pressure. Once it senses that it'll release and, uh, and go back into uh, an open position. Well, tell me more about uh, the Black Fin series and, and what other kind of benefits could customers see with this? Yeah, the, the Black Fin is a, uh, you know, really a, a group of tools. Um, this is one of the smaller uh, hydraulic crimpers. Right. And then you can go up to, uh, you know, a 750, you know, MCMs. And it, it also, um, there are dieless, you know, type crimpers as well as this is a, uh, is a die type. And if I didn't mention it, uh, this one is going from a, a number eight. Uh, up to uh, a 300 MCM and we'll do a number eight to a number two on your larger uh, ring type terminal terminals insulated and non-insulated. Okay. Kent, thank you for coming in here today. We appreciate you uh, giving us a demo of these tools. We're excited to show these to our customers and uh, thanks again. Absolutely. Thank you, Dixon. <music>